What we're doing today is a review on the Snap-on 3 8 drive uh, electric cordless uh, ratchet kit. Looks just like this, uh, just came in the mail, the Snap-on box. I like how the Snap-on box when it shows up, it uh, doesn't say Snap-on on the outside, but when you open it up, it's got a nice little sticker. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna open it. Yeah, I really like the old school way they do this. There's no tape that you have to pull off the corners. It's nice and old school, the thin box. It's, it feels like it's, you know, original, authentic American tools. So I have the charger, um, another charger for these batteries. I have a couple of things with these batteries here at work. Two batteries. Let's see what we're looking at. Same with the flashlights and little drills. So I have one Same with the flashlights and little drills. I don't know if they come pre-charged, so we'll see if the turn this on or if we got another battery. Oh, the boots to go over the end like the ratchets have. This goes over the ratcheting end. And here we are. Oh, it comes with a book. Jeez, this is a thick book, too. Nice. Probably a lot with safety. Oh, there's a three. There's the extended one. Um, thin, there we go. All right. So uh, I don't know if there's an index. Probably just follow instructions. Follow the safety instructions if you buy it, obviously. Um, everything as you should. I don't see initial index in the first couple of pages. But yeah, general safety warnings and things like that. Make sure you read those if you get it. I want an item number too. It's, uh, let me find it right here. If you want to look this up or anything for the price, uh, things like that. Also, I'll put a link in the description. Now, here we are. Let's see what we got here. It's got a light, it looks like. We'll put a battery on and see it too. Comes really well greased. Nice. Um, I watched a couple of videos of these on YouTube and comparing them to Milwaukee's and other close brands. Probably won't be able to get this on with one hand. I'll be very impressed if I do. But um, they did say the Milwaukee was a little bit better, but I mean, I hate to say it, but this matches all the other power tools I have. So, so that's why we're here with this. All right, is it charged? It is, you can see the flashlight. Sounds kind of like a... Sounds like we're doing... Oh, you can see the light. Pretty good light. Pretty good light. Uh, we'll put the boot on too to keep it from getting scratched, scuffed, and oily on the inside. In there, I can see getting really dirty from the oil of picking up dirt and things like that. But yeah, it feels good. I like the weight. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not pretty heavy, but it's it's pretty light. But it's it's definitely got some good weight, as if you you know it's metal. Um, I'd love to know the weight of this. I'll put it in the description so I can say it. But I bet it's I don't know. Four, three or three and a half pounds, uh, just enough to make sure you know it's metal and to be very durable, but not enough to get heavy in your hand. I guess using it for eight hours, it might feel heavy in your hand, but um, it's pretty loud, I'm not gonna lie. It spins pretty fast. We'll see what the, I think the torque range is like 35 foot pounds, but I'm sure it'll go a little harder than that. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously it could be dangerous using it over 30 foot pounds, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I saw a video of them online putting the tape over them and seeing how long it would run for and if it overheats but it looks very well oiled so I'm, I'm sure it'll do well up there all right we'll definitely make some videos of how it actually works in the field and some reviews but this was a good unboxing video so i hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe for the views on our videos on um our review and that once i've used it for about a month at work and uh we'll let you know so all right have a good day and uh leave a comment and let me know what you thought we're going.